in this machine learning class we will see feature extraction this is an important topic under second unit that is second part of second unit basics of feature engineering so today we will see what is feature extraction after that we will see some of the popular algorithms uh, from feature extraction first one is principal component analysis that is pca then svd that is singular value decomposition after that lda that is linear discriminant analysis okay first let us see what is feature extraction so feature extraction means creating new features okay from the combination of existing features that is the original features in the data set in the data set right so by using some operators by using some operators we can combine the original features to create the new feature right by using some operators we can create the new features from the existing or original feature that is called as feature extraction now let us see what are the operators here we are using first one is boolean feature so by using boolean operators we can create the new features so what are the boolean operators we are having conjunctions disjunctions negation okay conjunction disjunction and negation right and second one is nominal features okay nominal features means cartesian product uh, m of n etc so m of n means from n number of features we can select only m features okay so this is nominal and numerical features numerical features means we can use numerical operations on the existing field or the features right so the minimum maximum addition subtraction multiplication division average equivalence inequality etc so these are some of the numerical operations that will be performed on existing features so that we can create new features okay so these are operators we are having three different types of operators first one is boolean second one is nominal and third one is numerical right uh, for example a data set which which future set fi which future set fi which contains f1 to fn so totally n number of features we are having okay after future extraction by using some mapping function f by using some mapping function f that is f of f1 to fn then we will get some new set of features some new set of features that is m number of features we will get so here f dash of i which is equal to f f dash of 1 f dash 2 etc f dash f so here m number of new features we have generated okay such that f dash of i which is equal to f of f i f means mapping function mapping function okay and this new feature m that should be less than n n is the original number of features in the data set okay so the new features newly created feature should be less than the originally that created data set okay which is that is f dash 1 which is equal to k1 f1 plus k2 f2 etc okay k is some random variable that will be multiplied by first feature plus k2 may be some other random variable that will be multiplied by second feature etc that is by using some of the function we create the new function which is called as feature extraction let us see one example for this okay student database so in the student database we are having student number um, subject one for example ml subject two for example cd subject three for example uh, some db database okay now so this is our database from here we need to extract new features okay new feature for example i want total and average and average so what is total by applying some mathematical operation from the existing features isn't it so for this we need to add these three features we will get total 
we will get total and average total divided by 3 we will get average we will get average isn't it so here uh, we have to apply some mathematical function to get the new features total and average okay so here we are having uh, two number of new feature this two should be less than four that is one two three four these are already existing feature okay that should be less than four this is n this is m let us see another example um, in our data set we are having four features okay feet a feet b feet 3 and feet d four features are there from these four features we need to extract two additional features feet 1 and feet 2 so what is the formula for feet 1 feet 1 which is equal to 0 0.3 into feet a plus 0 0.9 into feet a right so if we multiply those values then we will get this one right then what is the formula for feet 2 feet 2 equal to feet a plus 0 0.5 feet b plus 0 0.6 into feet c so that is this value okay now we are extracting the new feature by applying some mathematical functions mathematical functions right the most popular feature extraction algorithms in machine learning are the PCA that is principal component analysis. Second one is SPD that is singular value decomposition and the third one is LDA that is linear discrement analysis. First let us see this PCA that is principal component analysis. The first one is principal component analysis. It is an unsupervised machine learning algorithm used in dimensionality reduction. Dimensionality reduction means the high dimensional data set will be converted into low dimensional data set. Okay. So, it is a, a statistical process used to, to convert the correlated features into uncorrelated features. That is linearly uncorrelated features. Okay. With the help of orthogonal transformation. That is all the correlated features in a data set will be converted into only uncorrelated features okay so that we will get more information more information and the new transformed features are called as principal components okay the principal components are uh, uncorrelated to each other and it is one of the popular tool used for exploratory data analysis and predictive modeling right and it is used to draw a strong pattern from a huge volume of data set by reducing the variance. Okay, so this is called as principal component analysis. The next one is singular value decomposition, uh, which is otherwise called as SVD. SVD is a matrix factorization technique, okay, commonly used in linear algebra. Okay, that means the very big matrix will be divided into three smaller matrix. Okay, so C equal to U, W, V transpose. That is transpose of V. The third one is linear discriminant analysis. That is LDA. Uh, it is also similar to PCA and SVD. That is to transform the data set into lower dimensional feature space that is the very big data set will be converted into lower dimensional data set okay and this lda focus on class separability okay unlike other models here it focus on class separability that is separating the futures based on the classes so the futures will be separated based on classes so that it avoids overfitting of the machine learning model Okay, so this is linear discriminant analysis. So far we have seen what is future extraction from second unit, basics of future engineering. Here there are three different methodologies used for reducing the dimension of data set. First one is PCA that is principal component analysis. 
singular value decomposition and linear discriminant analysis and in the next class we will see all those models in somewhat detail okay in the next class we will see the pca in detail with example